Well done, Gemma, that's the 100 and 200 fly double. That was a win in the 100 fly for you. How pleased are you with that final? Um, I'm happy with the gold. Um, the time wasn't too great because my best is 56. I would have liked to have gone 56, but um, I gave it my best shot and that's all I could do today. It was a good race win as well because you beat the British champion in the 100 fly from the past two British champs. Is that quite significant for you? Um, yeah, I'm happy to take the win. I think she prefers long course. I don't think she likes the turn so much. Um, but it's always a good race between me and Rachel, so it's always good for us to race her. You never know who's going to win. You haven't competed very much over this short cut season. What was the thought, uh, what was the thought process behind that? Um, I wasn't sure because I've raced long course this season the World Cup, so normally they're short course, so long course is a change. It was quite tough. Um, but I was looking forward to get some short course racing in because it's always nice to have a few extra turns. It's a little bit easier. Um, so it was good practice, and, but I'm looking forward to moving on to the long course season because obviously the Olympics are long course, and it's good to get some training in for that. Speaking of the Olympics, it would be your third if you made it to Rio. I mean, would that be the biggest achievement of the three to make it to a third? Well, obviously, that's the big challenge and that's the next dream that I want to achieve. Um, obviously, I know what Olympics is like and it's such an amazing competition to go to. And I know if I don't go, I know I'll be missing out on. But I've already got the experience of the Olympics and I'm just really going to take that into my training and into trials and hopefully make it. You were based at Stockton when you made Beijing and Swansea when you made London and now you're based at Bath. Is it important as you progress through your career to kind of keep mixing things up and, and try new training bases? Um, personally for me I think it is but everyone's different. Um, I was at Stockton for about seven eight years all through growing up so I think after that I needed a change especially after Olympics I feel like you go through a lot personally and mentally so the change really helps motivational wise and I think I got where I could have got with Stockton and then with Swansea and keep improving I felt like I needed to keep moving on so I'm happy where I am now.